Hi and welcome to my new video, this time a tutorial video and we are going to build this pretty sweet M20 armored utility car. Well, um, the design of this one is, and I hope I pronounce it correctly because uh, it's a Chinese name and I'm not so good in that Asian names, um, Jia, Jia Bai Bang. Uh, I know him from Instagram with the name of RVF18J1. Um, I put a link to his Instagram account in my description. And he designed this awesome M20 armored utility car based on uh, the M8 uh, Greyhound, of course. The M20 armored utility car was an armored car that was used by the United States during World War II. Uh, used big time, a lot of them were produced. Uh, the M20 was actually nothing more than an M8 Greyhound, but with the turret system altogether removed to make an open air fighting compartment. And defense would be handled by a single machine gun along this flexible ring. Uh, the compartment area could have a bench seating installed for extra personnel or M left empty to uh, carry supplies. Uh, it was developed in 1943 because of the US Army needed uh, for a mobile vehicle that could serve as an anti-aircraft role in, if necessary and haul cargo. In total around, um, I thought it was, I read somewhere about uh, 30, no, 3600 were built of uh, these M20s by the end of the war. Well, I think I said enough about the history of this thing. Um, of course, you always can search it up on Wikipedia or other websites with a lot of information. Mostly you will find information about the M8 Greyhound, this being one of the M8 relatives. Um, I think I said enough for now. You watch this, if you click this video because you want me to see how this one is built. So let's do that.
This hose is a 3 mm rigid hose. Um, I bend it already, but it's about 13 studs uh, length. It's almost the same length as the uh, car itself. So you know what to use. And this is a Brick Arms M2HB gun that's gonna fit on top of it. So this is the finished model, the M20 Armored Scout car, agility car it actually is. Well, I'm going to do a deep uh, in-depth, yes that's a correct word, in-depth review on this one in a total different video. But um, yeah, I hope you liked the tutorial and if you're going to build it 
I would love to hear from you. Uh, I would actually really enjoy you sending me a picture. I will post it on my Instagram. If you build it and you post your own picture on Instagram, please tag me in it so I can repost it and we'll give you an obvious shout out. For now, thank you for watching. If you like this video, please hit the like button and leave a comment about what you think about this car. Um, I always love receiving comments. I'll try to answer all of them. And uh, maybe that's reason enough for you to even subscribe to my channel and see more tutorials in the future. For now, thank you for watching. I hope to see you next time. Bye bye.